Luca Merce Prime here, so it is time for the next episode of Movie That Deserves a Sequel, and in today's video, I thought I'd cover this time an example of a comedy movie, which is ironically a sequel, but I'd love to see sequel too, and this is a film as well, which stars two of my favourite roles of people such as Channing Tatum and Jonah Hill, probably my favourite role of Channing Tatum of all time, actually one of my favourite roles of Jonah, and this is a sequel, well, of course, which is actually based on a TV show of the same name, as as this franchise, which is also a continuation of that show in the same continuity, and this film, which I would definitely love to see sequel to, is none other than, of course, Twenty Two Jump Street. So you guys are probably going to ask me what are my thoughts on the franchise so far. Well, at the time of this recording, I have not seen the TV show just yet, but I have seen both of the films with Jane Tatum and Jonah Hill, and. I do love the first movie, I think it's a great start to this um, to this film franchise based on the show of the same name. But personally, I think the sequel to 22 Jump Street is much better in my opinion. Mainly because, in my opinion, it's much more funnier than the first movie. And in my opinion, a lot better because of that reason. So I definitely like, have an absolute blast watching this because I watched it early in 2022. That year started and... And those two films to watch was just an absolute joy, especially the sequel for me. When it comes, of course, to a potential sequel, though, there has been many talks over the years of a sequel which could which could be called 23 Jump Street, because obviously, of course, as the sequels have gone by, the, the numbers increased, and it from 21 to 22. So, I think 23 Jump Street would be a perfect title for a sequel. And I'd love to see a sequel, of course, where the two main characters of course, which are Greg Jenko and Martin Schmidt returning from, from, from the first two films. I'd love to see them both come back. And alongside other characters from the other films too as well. Well, of course, I'd love to see that also happen too. When it comes, of course, to a potential sequel, though, oh, of course, the two directors, Phil Lord and Christopher Miller, who directed, of course, the, the last two films of this, of this series, said they would not be directing, but instead just write and produce. So... That's a bit disappointing in my opinion because I personally think those two did a really great job directing the films. So if they're not going to direct this third one, then they will be sorely missed, of course. But we are at least going to produce and write it. And there's also apparently been drafts of a script, which has also been done as well. And it's also as well been, been reported that Sony wanted to cross all of this franchise with Men in Black. And that wouldn't be a bad idea, actually, because I'd love to see these characters team up with, with Agent J and K from Men in Black. But actually, it'd be pretty funny, really, actually. <laughs> I'd love to see that. It'd be pretty funny. And it has also been reported that a director of this third film would be James Bobbin. So, that would probably be a good idea, really. So, I'd love to see a potential sequel, of course, where these two characters come back and we see, of course, other familiar faces and... We can even as well get characters from, from the TV show as well in, in this third film, which would be pretty cool because I love how in these, these last two films we had cameos from people from the show, like Johnny, Johnny Depp, for example. So who knows, maybe they could probably get in more cast members from the show in this potential third movie. So when it comes, of course, to maybe this third film, I definitely would love to see it happen. Unfortunately, of course, it's been been a very long time since since the, the last film, because this year, 2024, it will be 10 years since the last film, so that's a bit of a shame, isn't it? It's been a very long time, but who knows? It could happen, really, because there has been some late sequels that have happened, which have been great, really, so hopefully this could be one of them, just have to wait and see, really. But for now, there's been no talk of a third movie, but I really hope it does happen, because I, cause I'd love to see a third film, which could probably be, like, maybe a trilogy for this franchise, absolutely. Maybe they could unite the cast from, from the show and from these two films together. I'd left, definitely love to see that. And so I really hope that they, they one day do confirm that a third film can be happening with, with, with a cast coming back. Because I definitely love to see it because I definitely really love the Jump Street films so far. And who knows, maybe this third film could be the best one. Who knows? Anyway, guys, what I'll do in the meantime is I will keep re-watching both my Blu-rays of the two films that we have so far. And... One day in my talks as well, see if I can check out the show as well. I'll see what I think of that. Mainly so I can show Orson's plot with Johnny Depp as well, because he's in it, of course, as a main character. I'd love to see it mainly for Johnny Depp. And I'll keep watching the films, re-watching them, with hope we'll get a third one of those films as well. Absolutely. So, guys, this is me covering why, in my opinion, 22 Jump Street is, is an example of a film in, in a comedy genre of a film that does deserve sequels. So, you know the drill, guys. Is be sure to give this video a like. Also, be sure to talk about in the comments what you guys think of 22 Jump Street. Do you need sequels on it? Let me comment below what you think. 
Also, be sure to join Team Primal Pressing Squad for this coming future, and I'll see you all later.